And tonight, an investigation is underway after a shooting at a Lexington home. The resident and his family are left shaken and wondering why their home might have been targeted. Jenna Krasina has more. I hear a lot of popping noise. I didn't know exactly what it was. Around 5 a.m. Thursday morning, Michael Erickson, his fiance, and two children were sleeping inside their home on Vondra Drive until an unfamiliar sound woke him up. I hopped up, looked out the window, just a quick glimpse, I saw a car and I just hear things hit and hit my house. Glass started to shatter all around him. That is when he realized someone was shooting into his home. The only thing that threw my hair was my kids, so I immediately hopped up and just told my kids to get on the ground, lay on the floor, lay on the floor. Erickson's two kids are four and five years old. Thankfully, no one was hurt and only damage was left to the home. But as they waited for the Lexington County Sheriff's Department to arrive, he called his sister to come take his children to a safer place. It's just not something you want to wake up to, the phone call, the fear, him crying, his family crying. Just, you know, our family is shook. You know, we could have lost my brother and his family. Deputies say multiple bullets struck the home. Someone fired shots from a vehicle on the road towards the home. Why would you want to take someone's life? Why would you want to shoot in a house, you know, at 5.30 in the morning to target my brother and his family? I don't understand. Erickson says he's only been a tenant there for about a month. My neighbors say this uh, has been broken into multiple times in the past, and I, I don't have no enemies out there. I don't know why this happened to us. Deputies are still investigating the motive and if this shooting was targeted. Reports of other calls to deputies show in the past three years, one larceny and two nonviolent family offenses to the same address, but it was occupied by other people at that time. Meanwhile, Erickson is thankful no one was hurt, but he no longer feels safe in his own home. I can't rest my head back in this house no more. I'm just I just don't feel comfort. I'm scared for me and my kids' lives. In Lexington County, Jenna Kurzina, News 19, WLTX. Well, as of tonight, deputies don't have a description of that vehicle. If you believe you have any information that can help, call Crime Stoppers at one triple eight crime sc